Hello and welcome everybody. This is your commentator moods and this isn't Pokemon. This is Hearthstone for those of you who know. For those of you who don't know, it's a card game made by Blizzard. It's really fun and I wanted to share it with you guys. So my idea for this is I want to do a series on, on this as you, as you can probably tell why I'm on this but what I want to do is um I had this, I found this idea from a couple of YouTube videos and streams I've been watching, but uh, it's it, it's I didn't want to be boring and just play all the good decks that would win in the ranks. Because right now I'm on the European server, not my not the North American server where all, all my good decks are. I'm here on the on the European server because my idea is to take a free to play deck and take it to legend ranked. And I may also do a. a S the same the, the same series on my on the on my main server the North American server just 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 to see which 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 version free to play or pay to or pay to play gets further in the season which I, which I think I might do so yeah let's get started I'm gonna show you the deck I'm gonna be using for for this free to play deck and the deck I decided to, as you can see here. Is a free to play zoo deck since zoo is the easiest deck to build. I was like, so I was like, yeah, why not? So, and I crafted a few cards to help me out, and I leveled up the leveled up the warlock just just to get enough for, uh, enough of the cards that I needed for zoo. So here, here we go. I'm gonna take it to the deck, and I'm gonna explain why I have them. two soul. We have two soul fire because soul fire is the main removal in warlock, and in in general. Um, we got two mortal coil because mortal coil will help us. Against stuff like, uh, like the Unleash the Hounds, we can we, we can we can kill one of those, draw a card. Also against stuff like Wolf Rider, if if, if they end up actually playing Wolf Rider, um, stuff like uh, the Hero Power from Paladin, a bunch of just one health things that are in the meta right now that we can uh, kill off with Mortal Coil. We got two Elven Archers, which would do the same thing, pick off uh, deal, which deal one damage, kind of like Mortal Coil. But it doesn't allow us, but we don't draw the card from the Elven Archer, obviously. And this, and this is the card that I crafted that I didn't have it yet, because since this is a, is a free-to-play account, it's the Flame Imp, one of the best one-drop minions in the entire game, and, and the best one-drop for Warlock that they can have. Yeah, even though the uh, the effect of the, of the Flame Imp isn't that good, you can, you can work around it. Then we got one Shield Bearer because... Shield bearer, shield bearer, I guess. I think I'm, I might actually take out the shield bearer. I'm not sure, but we got two void walker because what zoo deck doesn't have void walker? And we have two blue guild warriors since it is a nice charge minion at, at two mana, and and it's like one of the only good cards that we had because that's the free to play account, obviously. And then I went to the first wing of Nax Ramus to get the two of the good cards that are two of the two of the new cards that are good in Zoo. Haunted Creeper and Nerubian Egg. I got Raid Leader to, to pump up all our minions by one by, by, by one attack. Shattered Sun Cleric to give every minion plus one, to give to give some minions plus one plus one when we need to. Wolf Rider because Wolf Rider is good for this type of deck. Then one Hellfire, because I put the Hellfire in here as you can see, because Hellfire will help us against other zoo decks. So yeah, then we got two Yeti, because Yeti is Yeti. Two Stormwind Knight, because Charge, and uh, it's good. We have only have one Stormpike Commando, because I don't think it's that good of a card. So that's why I've also added in one Strangled Thorn Tiger. So yeah, enough dilly-dallying, let's just get into some games. And let's see how this deck how this deck works in the season. And since I ranked at level twenty, it uh, gave me enough stars to be to be ranked twenty three anyway uh, at the start of this season. So yeah, let's just do it. So yeah, I might post one or two games a day, just so you guys know. Uh, just because on on how I feel, and also check back later tonight because there might also be a, another part of the Ruby Let's Play. There might be. So let's just see what we get. We got here in Hearthstone, though. Because I was doing that first. And we go up against a shaman. Shaman. So we got Haunted Creeper, Raid Leader, and then the Ruby at Egg. Hmm. 
I think I want to toss everything but the Haunted Creeper. I think, I think that's what I'm going to be doing. Just throwing away everything but the Haunted Creeper. I mean, sure, it's, it's in, because I don't want, I don't want the egg to get earth shocked. Th th that is my thinking behind it. I don't care if the creeper gets earth shocked, but the egg, I don't, I don't want earth shocked. And silence because of the earth shock. And we get mortal coil and, and the storm and night as a replacement. This isn't that bad of a curve, but we could do better. And we get the egg anyway, so it doesn't matter. Job's done. I greet you. So let's just see how, what we got here. What we're up against. Ooh, I can I can deal that damage with the bluegill warrior. Do I though? Or do, uh, I think I just need to lay down the creeper first. I think I just do that. Yeah. I would have liked to deal two damage with the bluegill warrior, but I can use him at, use him as removal if I need to. Here comes the ears. No frost shock. Interesting enough. And now he's gonna coin hero power? Yeah, okay. So now I can use the Blue Gill Warrior to get rid of that totem. Because I don't need he does, I don't want him to have totems. And there's my flame man. We got this. So Blue Gill Warrior clears totem, because we don't need he doesn't have any totems, and then flame him. So here we go. We've taken damage, but that's only because of the because of the, the ability of the flame imp. So yeah, but we have tons of board presents right now. Haunted Creeper, Blue Gill Warrior, and this. And this is going to get he hexed. He wastes a hex on a flame imp. I'll take it, but that's just weird. Wolf Rider is Wolf Rider, so I, I think we just play the Wolf Rider and deal, and deal, and deal our three damage. Since we are a rush deck. We are, in, we are in range of a uh, of a lightning storm, but I don't think he'll have one right, right now. He might, but you never know. So let's just see what he plays. Just a totem. I'll deal with. I, I can live with that. And a totemic might. That's interesting. So I can do lots of things here. We got the elven archer, so. I think I'm gonna play the. I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna play Mortal Coil this turn on that. That's why. That's why I attacked him with the Wolf Rider. Let's do that. Draw a card. Get, get another Flame Imp, which is which is great. We'll play that next turn because we're gonna play the uh, Stormwind Knight this turn. For the king. And and deal our damage. Well played. Thank you. That was a good play. Another totem. And it's a taunt totem. The, the stone claw totem. Just not gonna hurt us too much. We got a shield there, so I think what we do here is take out his For honor. Take out his totem, take out his raid deer with our Puja Warrior, and we still deal four damage to his face. And then I think we throw it on everything we have. Yeah. Egg? Um, flame him, chill there, and talk. I mean, and, and tap for a raid leader. Oh, we got things this for this next turn. We can raid leader and deal tons of damage. And right now, it's not even in, in his best interest to lightning storm because he'll, he'll trigger the haunted creeper and the egg at this point. And he lava bursts my Stormwind Knight. I'll, I'll, deal, I'll live with that because that's one less flame burst to my face. And I think we win here. Let's see. A two, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think this is enough. Um. Do I play the Ray Leader or do I play the Shattered Sun Cleric? I think I have to play a Ray Leader this turn. Handle it! Alright, let's, let's go straight for his face with everything we have. Face my steel. Back time. 
And I don't need to tap. I don't, need, I don't even need to tap. Because I'm going to win next turn. So yeah, this is looking like a GG. The Frost Wolves stand ready. That was a mistake. You win this one. And, uh, and there we go, we win! We win our first game of the September season here on the European server. And yeah, I'm happy about that. Alright. And apparently we had a quest from last season I was working on that I have done now. Nice! So, that was game one. Thank you all for watching. This has been your commentator modes. I'll see you back here for game two.